Welcome back to Factorio C Block and TSM, episode 137, I think. Thereabouts, 137? I'm going to go with that. Um, so, last time we were trying to sort out mud, and uh, the throughput in particular of uh, this substance in here, which um, is ethanol, um, we added, also I added since last episode, um, we're actually feeding uh, extra of the uh, fertilizer up here, although we take from this side first. And actually it looks like only one of these machines is going is actually able to take. But um, I now have basically the whole thing running. And that's partly because of this and partly because, well, the mud actually cleared up here completely and that fixed our oxygen uh, problem, or at least it had last I looked. Um, <laughs> I wonder if I should perhaps dare check my O2. No, it hasn't actually finished, fixed O2 completely. So that's still an outstanding but okay let's ignore that it has fixed the mud issue which has cleared this up and i think it's fixed the mineral sludge issue let's try that one at least uh mineral sludge there um that's only just being called um so i'm willing to guess i guess that uh with a bit of luck we're not actually too far off with one of these actually the first one was the closest i think how close were you 23 and 15 23 and 24 so this one isn't actually particularly far off if it's all running uh, it doesn't appear to be though zero because you actually don't have enough sulfuric because we have no oxygen even in here and you're not running because well, i guess it's the same reason isn't it no sulfuric acid and it's no sulfuric acid no we have max sulfur dioxide um, we don't have enough purified water. Uh, that is a concern. Uh, over here we also don't have enough purified water. This wasn't how we were going to do this episode. <laughs> There's uh, different things we had in mind, well, I had in mind. Um, you have a ton of purified water. Uh, Alright, screw this. We're going to fix our purified water. Actually, you're supposed to go on to a train. Maybe that's what the problem is, in fact. Where is this train? Uh, this one. You are waiting here, and that's just not working, so why don't you move on? Um, the train that I've got is problematic. It's not really doing what I would like it to do. So it's coming here now, right? Yeah. Um, so this train basically unloads mineralized water and yeah this uh, this isn't gonna work if it's trying to um, no I think we're gonna have to change our plan here a little bit um, we fixed the mud problem. <laughs> we more or less have the uh, mud, not the mineralized sludge working. But um, yeah, new problem. 
this was going to be the tin day, well, the day that we start doing tin, but I guess our priority has just been changed. Uh, so you are trying to unload, uh, and actually what's in here? Sodium nitrate. It's not full, but it's not a lot, of, it's not that far off. Uh, where exactly was that full here? Purified water. Doesn't look like we actually have any of this to unload. This one looks fine. If anything, I need to reverse that. Where are you going? You're going there, okay. Hmm. We will quickly fix this and, well for now, I'm obviously going to have to do some additional adjustments. No, come back. You're not ready to go. Um, I'm going to have to change the requirements here. Get rid of that. Um, you're not done. What the hell are you doing to me? What's this for? Stefan Braun. Oh, that wasn't even the right one anyway. Um, That's better. Uh, maybe that's too long. Ah, uh, I'll leave it. I mean, that at least has got some action happening in here again. Have we got action up the top? Yes, does that mean we're getting O2, hopefully? Oh, it's been so drained for so long. Anyway, um, so the point of all that was that um, uh, our liquid resin is now building up quite nicely. We have deposited liquid resin up here, um, which puts it into here, which is good. So it's not really liquid resin slowing us down anymore. Um, I still think or thought that it was tin, but obviously we have 
completely run out of copper supply, possibly because of the mineral sludge ongoing issue. Um, yeah, we still have this one. Where is that one? That one's over here. That's not copper, is it? Yes, that is copper. Okay. So we need this one to um, get fed. Uh, with a bit of luck, this shouldn't be very far off now. 2022. Um, 24, 22. That should be enough. There you go. One's coming. Um, and us. So, um, we need to finish off the copper before we can start the tin. We can't just leave things uh, missing and we need one product here for the coolant, uh, which I will bring up. Coolant, um, well making coolant from scratch we need base mineral oil. I don't think we need a huge amount of it though. But we do need the base mineral oil. So um, I need a means to get base mineral oil up to the copper. And that's going to be a train. I think I have a um, supply of base mineral oil uh, here. Um, which I think whenever it gets over 120 is basically converting to solid fuel. Um, so we need to create a drain on that. I think I could always do it here, use this station to uh, double up with yet another product. Um, ideally, we would have two tanks, which... This one is going to struggle to supply two, but there was a time when we needed uh, multiple tanks, so you never know, we might return to that, especially if there's drain. Uh, one, and then we're missing stone brick, of course we are. Doesn't look like thorium is proceeding very fast. Uh, is there anything else we could do instead? We're missing this purple. Um, I think I saw the light colored one. Do I want the next faster something? Well, I know I want rid of that. Uh, these things are probably useful. It's not too expensive. Breaking force, it's quite expensive though. We don't really need lab two just yet. Um, that's quite expensive. 300 all right we'll do the cheaper ones see if we how we go through that uh, maybe I should put thorium back on though just in case we build some of the thorium in the meantime um, the pink uh, purple uh, it should be obvious that one oh, 800 perhaps no wonder it's taking so long um, anyway uh, we need some stone brick. Hopefully they topped up my express stack filter. Oh, that's not nearly enough. Um, oh, it's down here. Right, 10. I think uh, I'm using them all the time. How about at least 30? I wonder I haven't had enough. And the stone brick, which probably should be put into a uh, different mechanism than this. Um, uh, that was so that we could build another one of these. Is that pipes? Pipes should be fine. Uh, do I need two? 
maybe I don't actually need to, and I could get away with just one of these guys. A single, a single train. I don't really know what else you use it for. Um, so, I mean, I guess if it's like heavy oil, which it sort of seems to be. am I getting? Some of those things are useful. Don't seem to be getting any more of those. Oh. Yes, that's filling up fairly quickly. So if we're going to put this on a uh, liquid cart, we only actually need 25,000. Um, we will need our usual... Oh, I had tons of those already. What about these ones? No. Okay, I'll build one of them. Uh, you can go to there. You can go to there. Uh, one... That should be two. It would tell me anyway, so... You don't actually have to rely on your ability to remember these things. I don't think you're under liquids, no. Uh, Petrochem. Um, what is the substance called? Base mineral oil, is that correct? Yes, base mineral oil um, is greater than 25,000. No point in worrying about and equal to. PQR. So we get one R. Oh wow, look what we're already up to. Um, and we don't have a train, we don't have stations yet, so we are going to need to set those up. Um, I've also just learnt recently uh, that you can use... Um, you can actually set colors. You can go something like color equals blue, uh, blue for requester. You have to put a close tag at the end. And um, there you go. And if you look at that in the mini map now, uh, let's turn train stop names on. There you go, and it's blue for request a station. I might um, do that as I improve all of these names at some point. But um, yeah, just thought that's worth knowing and uh, could certainly help with some of the logistics planning as well. Uh, okay, so yes, trains. We need two of those, we need one of those. Different length train, it only really causes an issue with our refueling, but we sorted that out ages ago because we already have that size length already, so it's not such a big deal. Cannot insert fluid wagon. We will sort you out just shortly, fluid wagon. Uh... Oh, yeah. oh, I meant to, probably going to change how the signals here work. Um, yeah, that's a problem because we actually, we actually have to drive in for this to work in the way that it should work. Uh, add station refuel. Um, Refuel. Now it's worked. It uses the event of the train arrival to 
uh, trigger the calculation. If it didn't, putting it down directly here wouldn't be able to trigger it and have it know that I'm putting one here when I start here. So there's not much else I can do except that. Anyway, it's all done at this point. Oh, we got we somehow ended up with one carbon, never mind. And at the front as well, also never mind. There must have been one on the um, arm. Uh, let's get rid of that. We will have to come over here where there's a bit of space. Now I could set some of these trains up in the traditional way where we don't actually specify like empty station, go there and then pick it up and then uh, come here. But uh, this allows a lot more flexibility in the long run. Um, so you are, oh, what's it called? Empty. Um, and I don't need a special filter on this because the only time it's going to come across is when it's a liquid wagon, which this stuff is not going to require. So we can avoid that. Uh, base mineral oil. Here we go again. Um, change. Empty. Liquid. Or is it fluid? Liquid. It's fluid, isn't it? Fluid equals base mineral <sighs> Okay Once again, Angel has foiled me uh, Empty base mineral oil will have to be And you can be none of that. Uh. Base mineral oil supply. Okay. Add station. I think the color shows up in here as well. So if we have a look down here, we should see a blue one. There you go. So it'd be quite helpful to see which ones are requesters and which ones are supply stations. Uh, using that. Um, that's not what we're using right now, though. We're using that one. Circuit condition. And uh, this will be right near the top. Base mineral oil supply. Also for a circuit condition. Um, the bad 300. There you go. Okay. Uh, well, we actually needed to be down here. I'm not sure if I'm even going to get to tin this episode. <laughs> uh. Okay, uh, you can just go back to yeah, what you're doing. That's fine. Um, priorities. Base mineral oil. Not this one. This one. Empty wagon. Until full. Empty. Um, what? Where's the base mineral oil? There. Okay. 
base mineral oil. And the base mineral oil. Uh, we can select this first. It doesn't matter which way we do this. It's right near the front, isn't it? Maybe it's not in this list. Small letters come after large letters, apparently. Base mineral oil. Uh, that's not the one we used last time, is it? That's correct. Let's just do that. Save. Let's check. Empty base mineral oil. Right. Empty base mineral oil. Base mineral oil supply. No worries. That is exactly what we wanted. So, um, down here, we are setting you to be um, the empty base mineral oil. And you've called a train already. Good, good. And then up, um, I have some of that. Good. I don't need to wait to see it arrive. Need to get on with the job here. Hopefully tin doesn't take us as long as some of these others have. But um, uh, for what it's worth, I suppose, as we progress, we are probably getting to uh, products that we don't need to replicate to quite the same degree, perhaps. How come you are having trouble unloading? I can see that you're full, but um, you shouldn't have been called in such conditions. Hmm. Uh, and here we are at copper. You're okay. You're okay. How is mineral sludge after all this time? Uh, that is a different one, I think. Or is that copper still? That still looks like copper. But it looks like it has been loading up, just not quite as fast as I'd like. All right. Um, so we can't really put another liquid there. Um, I can try to put one here. Perhaps do I have a... Yeah, it's not looking like it really wants to do that. And um, I am actually going to edit this because I don't want... Uh, there's a lot I don't want here, actually. Um, we don't want any of that. Probably can do away with that as well. Um, now it actually extends in too far at this point. We're not going to fit it down at the bottom. Uh, that's right, that's why I was trying this. Um, uh, method of trying to make it fit. In fact, all of that was probably for naught. Okay, never mind. Um, Uh, can we fit one of those in there? We can. Uh, 
And then we want something like that, leading to, ideally probably up there, but there will do. Now, do you have enough room for, uh, we don't have any product to build a request to train station because we're missing, what are we missing? Uh, we're missing iron, all right. Um, the good thing about missing iron, which I'm fairly sure I completely failed to recognize this last time, is that um, iron is just here. So I can grab some iron by going here and not needing to go back to the main base. And if I grab 200 out of there, uh, I kind of expected these guys to jump into action. What about if I grab another 200? Oh yeah, there you go. Um, now, a request to station. Can we get a one wagon train? It's not looking particularly promising, I must admit. Uh, one, two, three. I don't need to admit anything. Um, build me another one of those. One, two. And, oh, now we're out of these engine units. Engine units of all things. That's not something I can handcraft away from, away from the main base. Uh, and there's no point calling the train until we have one. So, unfortunately, I am going to have to run back to the main base all over again. Oh, and I've headed the, I've headed the wrong path or the long way around or one of those. Logistics five doesn't seem to be happening all that fast. All right, come down here. Uh, come on guys, give me my engine units. Um, I might just have to take my engine units. All this so that we can get one of them. I could do with some faster legs. I guess I could put down some concrete or something everywhere as well. Um, and I really should do something about that stuff. <laughs> There's a long list of things that need action. No wonder this game takes so long in this format. Uh, let's just go straight up here. I might have a sip of water. While I run, probably going to realize there's something else I'm missing at this point, but never mind. Um, pump. Way down there, okay. Right, um, we may as well do the usual. Oh, I already have those. Uh, never mind, I was about to do yet another one to try and cancel it. Um, all right. So 
So, um, if base mineral oil, which is none of those things, uh, if base mineral oil is less than uh, 50,000, say, not even sure if we need 50,000, but set a P anyway. And then this guy is trains on the way is less than P. If that's the case, then send me a base mineral oil train. And we have one on the way right now. Okay, so to make our first initial collection of the coolant we need base mineral water uh, base mineral oil and water and here's the water uh, what do we do that in we do that in a chemical plant or you know an advanced chemical plant but I think we'll try and stick to a normal chemical plant this time uh, there and there uh, we don't need a chem plant three a chem plant to will suffice. Okay. Uh Probably, yeah, somewhere like where I'm standing. You are making um, base mineral, um, no, coolant. Coolant, okay, oh, ran the wrong way. Awesome, okay, never mind. Uh, Good water. Uh, so there you go, we've got quite a lot now. Um, we need a valve because we obviously want to reuse this stuff with priority. Um, I mean, obviously the easiest valve to do is just this, um, if the output side is below 80%, one. We'll try that one first of all. Oh, these things are going to need a way to unload as well. Every second may as well be near, I guess, before it proves to be an issue. Um, I think that's all we needed to do. So, uh, red, 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 red. Are you not doing anything? Copper. Uh, you need 
the good coolant. Are you telling me you don't have the capacity? Uh, you appear to be working. You appear to be working. You appear to be working. You not so much. You not so much either. What's happening to our uh, water? What's happening to the water here? We, I think, needed an extra one of these guys, which we seem to have skipped in the process. So that certainly could explain part of the problem. Um, oh, this whole process is not doing anything at the moment, right? And where are we getting purified water from? Ah, this is what happens when you skip processes. Um... You are making purified water. I'm going to give you another one of these because I seem to remember the cooling process needed quite a lot of water. Uh, and you can go there. So, um... Should have been one further up. Uh, even more saline water for now. That is going to go to one of our good mates, a clarifier. I will leave a space here though, so that we can add whatever we might need there in the future. Um, so. You need, um, well, you actually just need some ceramic filters, don't you? Ceramic filters, uh, charcoal filter, ceramic filter, I need alumina. Um, I think at one point in time I had some alumina. But right now I'm going to have to go back to the main base yet again. How are we doing? 43. Um, yeah. <laughs> Come on guys, you know this is what happens with me. We intend to do one thing and we never get anywhere close because there's always something else to do. Uh, Lumina. It's already been used there, hasn't it? Or is this, is this Illumina? It might be. Yes, it does look a lot like it. Um, Alright, so. Uh, I don't know how many of these I need. I think I can make enough, though. Uh, logistics, seriously, why are you not doing anything? No yellow. One yellow. Uh, you've got no blue. Why is blue doing nothing? Needs copper? Okay. 
Is copper still a problem? Yep. Seems to be. All right. We can get out here, so I might just do that this time. Given that we're sort of getting up towards the uh, normal time I would stop, I don't think we're actually going to start tin in any serious way today. However, um, I may set up the, um, uh, the fancy station thingy me, jo me jig. Um, one, two, three, four. Let's try four. Oh, why am I carrying crushed stone? Let's try four to start with, see how that goes. Um, I suspect we could just about do with one more, but four is working, so that is good. Uh, we need the same mechanism here, including purified water. I wonder if purified water is keeping up. Yes, no trouble. have still done none right products finished 151 7 no you do occasionally work and you have 71,000 okay coolant Tons of coolant. Oh, you can't get rid of all your expired coolant? Uh, why? Why would that be? You have water. You have steam. Cooling from 250 to 350. Okay. Uh, you have 208 that you're trying to get rid of. And that is the reason we can't take any more of the... See, this is why I was concerned that this would not be the right approach. Um, we needed it to get going, now it's too much. So, what I might do instead is replace it with a pump. That is only activated if uh, I don't think I can read this one. No. 
Um, instead of top up, we need to be a lot more aggressive than just a top up. So I would like to use one of these, the check valve. Or I could even use a small inline storage pipe. It's basically the same general idea. And um, uh, this has just filled it up, hasn't it? So what we'll do is say that this guy has to be less than, so fresh coolant, um, it's in here, right? Coolant. Um, coolant, there we go. Coolant has to be less than say 200 for this to activate. And then I think this will be fine. Because that will allow some pressure to be relaxed in this. <coughs> Now the only other thing is there might be too much of this coming to here. So I suspect it's not actually the case. Uh, why aren't you going? You still have used coolant to get rid of. In any event, um, We appear to be building up on coil. Uh, what does it actually stack to? Stacks to 200, wow. So each, so it should be 16K, right? It is 16K, okay. Yeah, it could take a while before we actually have a coil train. But where we use it, we use a lot of it potentially, maybe. <laughs> Or maybe we'll just have some trains that don't fully unload. Uh, oh, that's good. Uh, these have plenty of the ingots though, so there's no... Well, that certainly shouldn't have been a reason for it not to have functioned. Um, still too much used coolant. Maybe you don't process enough used coolant fast enough. Uh, you make 210 used coolant per second. Pretty sure I did this calculation. 210. Um, you only deal with 75, so I need three of these. That would make perfect sense, okay. I don't know where I was getting my calculation from. 200 every four seconds sped up by 1.5, okay. Maybe I was looking at filtration unit twos. Uh, in any event, I do have another one, good. Um, Hmm. How about you go here and your 
used coolant goes um, up there and I make some more of these like another four even um, and You go there. And um, you do that. What seems to be the problem? Used coolant doesn't want to come in. Um, I have no idea why that would be the case. Uh, used coolant. Used coolant. Temperature. Oh, this is really hot. Yes, you have to be careful which coolant you're trying to put in there. Um, we have to pick up this coolant. Except that one was not a problem. Nor is that one. Uh, our coolant can't get out of here. Why not? Because you can't get out of the, into this one. And what is the problem there? Oh, the problem could actually be the steam engines. Um, yeah, we may need more. Steam. And our engines. Who would have thought it? Uh, interesting. How much steam do you deal with per second? Consumption, steam, up to 30 per second. Oh, but you know what? These guys, these guys will only produce at a given ratio and we've all but destroyed that ratio. <sighs> I think I'm going to have to have these guys um, charge some accumulators and it's only if those accumulators drop below a certain level that we let other energy into this zone or some silly nonsense like that. Seems a little bit absurd. Look at the detail they've put into the sky. Developer detail. Not entirely sure it makes sense having all these spinning cogs. Seem a little bit excessive, but um, yeah. 
Um, but that is the reason. It's never previously a problem. Um, am I better off not trying to make energy out of this, but just venting steam? Can you even do that? Uh, I'm not quite sure how steam can burn in the way that this thing is supposed to make it, but um, do you fit in there? Flare stack can't flare steam. Uh, where are you getting your power from? Oh, you were the actually you were the power. Uh, that's interesting. If. Uh, hang on, what, what's the command for... Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted. So, if you're providing the electricity for these guys, they don't use very much, though. That's um, not really any better off than we were before. What about... So what what is your power output? Nine hundred. Okay. What's the power demand of these things? Uh, Two hundred and seven. So if we created like a local electricity grid. We're not actually using any at the moment, though. Because of the steam. So you're barely consuming anything. 0 0.2. That's useless. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I think it's probably better that we just have it as part of the normal grid for now. At least these have gone up to... Well, something. Um, it's all being done by solar. All right, you know what? I'm going to isolate the solar. What's the time? One hour. We didn't even get to set up the station again, but don't worry. Next episode, definitely tin. Um, Is it worth isolating the solar, or do I just isolate? Maybe I just isolate up here. So. That's fine. Uh. Probably need 
So I need a power switch. Um, where is it? Power switch. And I need an accumulator, which I bet I don't have the batteries for. Oh, do I have, I do have some copper wire. Power switch. So, the idea will be uh, as soon as I can remember where copper cable is. So this one's off at the moment. We turn it on, we have power coming through, right? Um, I need an accumulator. Where are those um, solar panels? Here. I need a basic accumulator. Nothing flash. And this guy sits here and we get a wire from him to the power switch. And the power switch says, so this will have A, I think it is. Um, if A, We'll check this shortly, is greater than 50. No, actually it's if A is less than 50. Uh, I think it's A. It is A. Enable, disable. A is 69. I thought you're supposed to be disabled. Why haven't you disabled? If A is less than 50, enable. Oh. It's turning on and off really fast. Okay, so does this convey, no, we need to jump power to over here. Uh, so hopefully that going on and off is enough for our local production. to do a slightly better job. Doesn't seem to be. Um, whoops. Resume. Yeah, it's exactly at the, the bridging point. Um, I might actually have to make this slightly more complicated uh, so that there's a range. Do an SR latch kind of thing. So uh, basically you have a threshold. Um, you have a couple more combinators. Uh, I've got a couple. Um, and we needed one to memorize or something. So I think what we want is you going back on yourself. Um, Uh, is that right? I might have to look this up. It's been a while. 
Um, so it will basically be A is um, less than 50. Set S, right? And then S comes back on itself. And this one will be, our oh, 50 is not where we want this threshold anymore. Less than 20. And this one will be A is greater than 80. Set R. And so you can put your green signal here as well. Um, oh, we've got no power, so I need to turn you on. Off. All right. That's dropping fast. Um, A less than 20, set S. And then we can combine these two. And the rule is not that. The rule is... Um, uh, I'm going to have to look this up. Guys, I think we'll just call it there. I'll sort this thing out and show you in the next episode. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Look forward to seeing you in the next. Bye-bye for now.